Abhi Chapong, Ria Setaku's films are made up of striking contrasts. On the one hand, you get the most mundane scenes. They appear to be fragments of everyday life. Sometimes, you get scenes where nothing seems to ever happen. Then, we get things I've never ever seen before. From monkey spirits staring back at me from the forest, to a princess having sex with a catfish. I've seen things in his films that I've never ever even dreamed of seeing. If you go look at his other scenes, however, you can begin to see what the director does to prime us for these surreal moments. Many of his compositions seem to be a little off. These compositions are designed to unnerve us, unsettle us, to knock us off our feet. These scenes have the effect of subliminally preparing the viewer for the very strange things to come. It's worth going back to his first feature film to examine the roots of his films. In Mysterious Object at Noon, he explicitly employed a surrealist storytelling technique by asking different people to continue telling a story about a handicapped boy and his teacher. The film crew would then go on to enact different parts of the narrative. Can this Thai director then be called a surrealist filmmaker? That's a hard question to answer. What constitutes surrealism in the context of film history has long been a subject of debate. Many people trace surrealism in cinema back to Ancien Andalou by Louis Buñuel. The film can be seen as a series of sequences designed to shock the audience. Since then, surrealists have tried to explore the boundary between the real and the unconscious in many different ways. You can even see it in films produced by Hollywood. Spellbound, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, features a dream sequence designed by Salvador Dali. More recently, filmmakers like David Lynch have been described as sharing surrealist traits. Like these filmmakers, Abhichapong Wirasetakul does not make any excuses for the strange leaps in his narratives or the otherworldliness of his films. He doesn't shy away from showing the strange or the implausible. While he may be similar to surrealist filmmakers in some respects, his films remind me of a different filmmaker who is not often associated with surrealism. Andrei Tarkovsky Tarkovsky's characters in The Stalker wander through what's referred to as the zone, exploring thoughts, feelings, and experiences that cannot be fully explored in ordinary life. Much the same way, characters in films like Tropical Malady and Uncle Boonmi who can recall his past lives roam through the Thai countryside as they encounter spirits and mythical creatures. Tarkovsky's zone is a place of surreal encounters. Like the zone, Apichapong Wirasetakul's nightscape is filled with otherworldly encounters. These films peel away at the veneer of normalcy to reveal a very strange world existing just under the surface. Apichapong Wirasetakul's innovation is to reveal under the surface of everyday life a realm of existence that exists beyond our awareness. While the Surrealists had once been preoccupied with the connection between the real and the unconscious, we have here a filmmaker who is intent on illuminating the strange connections that exist between modern life and pre-modern beliefs. That he's found a way to do so seems like a miracle of its own. <laughs>